Okay, so I did that, I guess. So if I uh, get in the max nice blood, I get 10,000 gold coins. It's probably going to be more than I can handle, isn't it? Did you uh, try restarting? And you know, going with a more, I don't know, focused uh, character or anything? Let's take practice shots at the crab. Experience. Oh, come here, crabby. Why do I keep missing? Um. How am I missing you? Seriously. Oh no. Why is he running away? One-handed heavy armor block mentalism archery and entropy. Yeah, it sounds a little bit too spread out. I was planning on doing like multiple playthroughs, you know, a few different builds and stuff if. Um, if the mod was popular on my channel, but it turned out not to be. Not all that popular, anyway. You just are you not actually aggressive? Not really. Did I just attack you for no good reason? Well, we're already enemies, so what's up there? A lost one. Um. Uh, what difficulty am I playing on? Adapt. 
I think I just left everything like sort of default, you know? Oh, come on. Here, eat some arrows, lost one. It's a lot of blood for killing one goat. Oh, wait. 15 points of health. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, that doesn't really uh, bode too well, does it? Telvani Mage. Now, I wouldn't mind doing another um, another playthrough of of Requiem, it's a pretty interesting mod. Makes the game, um, you know, completely new, essentially. What, what do we got? Ooh. I do believe that I. Am I using. No, I'm not using the right sword. It basically makes Skyrim a completely new game, which is nice. Ow. Where are you? Oh, archers are really good at moving around in this. Ow! Come on. Stick your nose out here. Oh, screw it. Let's just go kill her. Where are you? What? That's all you've got. There you go. See how easy it is to just die and stop causing me problems. So what do we got here? Some sort of... oh. Seems as if the camp was hurriedly abandoned. Chain lightning? Walk blessed, Max. Nice blood. According to our agreement, as a show of gratitude, we will grant you shelter in our barn at near Dark. I, I mean Ark. <laughs> Once winter breaks, you can find shelter in Ark's last watch near the farmer's coast. It's an abandoned outpost of the Holy Order erected to defend the mountain pass against intruders from Thalgard. The Order has not used it in years. So where's that? Uh, oh, okay, that's that's quite a distance away. So we're not going to deal with that right now. We're going to report to Constantine. I once, uh, I, I didn't do as, oh, what's, who and what is that? Oh, just a traveler. Okay. 
I once played, I didn't do it as a playthrough on my channel, obviously, but I played as a um, as somebody who sets out to become a Daedric Prince. And so he goes around, you know, helping, helping all of the all the um, Daedric Princes with their quests to collect their artifacts, but it's only to amass power to himself. That was fun. Just randomly killed people for insulting him and stuff like that. Um, what am I doing? I'm looking for... Uh, I am looking for the scrolls. Teleportation scroll to the Sun Temple. There we go. Oh, nice animation. I didn't even know you, there were dragons to fight in Enderal. Interesting. I know that they used some of the dragon... This oh. is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Sorry. Um... What's that? They do use some of the dragon sounds for those uh, those creatures that you fly on as the fast travel system. Myrad, Myrads, Myrids. I don't know. what he's doing. Hello. Now, if it isn't the prodigy, well... Well, okay, we got a lot of stuff we can say to you. Lishari performed the ritual on me. There were problems. Yes, I know. She's already told me something. Good work. Even though part of her report seemed to be a bit enthusiastic, but I'll leave the judgment to Aranthiel. He wants to talk to you anyway. Seems you've caught his interest. Hmm. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, I don't think I really need to be told about Aranthiel. So where can I find him? Not sure if I want to be part of all this, whatever it is you're searching for. Oh yes? Well then listen carefully. Lucy probably hasn't told you, but the ritual was as dangerous for her as it was for you. In other words, she and all of us have risked a lot for your healing. Also, she sees something special in you. Heck knows why, but she does. So at least have the decency to listen to what Aranthiel wants to tell you. He is in the Emporium of the Temple. Just tell the guard who you are, and they will let you in. Ah yes, before I forget, my dame Lucy has left a token of gratitude for you. It's your choice. Do you want a book, an old map, or a bag of pennies? Uh, do I want a book, two learning points, a treasure map, or a bag of money? Hmm, what do you think? I, I'm not going to bother with the money, because money is, like, so easy to get. Treasure map sounds interesting, although learning points might be useful. His robe is really wild. It looks like some kind of, yeah, scales. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. 
Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Map. Map sounds good. Very well. Now get a move on. I'm sure we'll talk again later. Alright, time to talk the, to the Grand Master himself. I really like the design of this place. It just looks it just looks great. Yes. Did he I didn't even pay attention to giving me like a physical map. <laughs> I should probably take a look at that. I don't know. Can't he just mark it on my map? That'd be so much easier. Chain lightning. One as well. Disciplines of magic. Elementalism. Ah, there's the treasure map. Uh, okay, so it's north of Ark. Just off the road. Ark, Temple, and then there's a road. So there's the Temple. So it's, it's like, over here somewhere. Alright. Probably forget all about it, but... This entire mod, the whole world and everything is just, it's so, it is so beautifully done. I really wish that uh, Bethesda would hire these guys. Aspirants. It is a suspicion, Tila. And to send an entire division across the sea because of a suspicion is madness. We need to find out who sent the mercenaries. This pigast said that they were after the signet stone, and if they succeed in getting hold of it next time, then the Black Guardian alone knows how to stop the cycle. The cycle? Listening to you talk almost makes me forget that all this fuss here is merely based on some bad dreams you and your Neremese friends had. Oh, the threat is real. Deny it as much as you like, but deep inside, you feel it as much as I do. Teela, this... Hmm. You're a commander, and a commander doesn't care about feelings, but about facts. You have made this mistake before, Teela, back then in Kira. Natara, the mission will happen. I'm sorry. You have a visitor. Yes, indeed. So, you are the prodigy everyone is talking about. Interesting. I am Teola Aranthia, son of Laurius I and Grandmaster of the Order. And I'm honored to meet you. What is your name? Before I get to answering that, yeah, uh, Gray... So the mark and recall spells, that's like, um... They used to have that back in Morrowind. It was great. Yes, and I will come straight to the point. You are here because I believe that you are special. Humanity faces a threat that needs to be stopped. And to achieve this, you are indispensable. Truly. The Red Madness. Among other things, yes. I do not need to explain to you that the present situation on Vin is chaotic. The wars, the living dead, common people who are losing their minds, to name only the most obvious. What most people are not aware of is the connection between these events. You, however, have encountered it, as have I. The visions. So you know where they came from? Or come I from? Do. And I will explain everything to you. What it means, 
who we are, and what your part in all of this is. Come, follow me. Maybe you already know who I am. My entire life, I served the gods who ruled Vin, until their death two years ago. What you probably do not know is that the one responsible Hello. for their death is my son, Hi. Narazul Aranthia. He hated the Lightborn because he believed that they robbed mankind of their right to freedom, so he strived to overthrow them. He found followers, formed an army and declared war on them, and thus on me, a servant of the Lightborn as well. It all ended in a battle 30 years ago which Narazul won. He killed every single survivor except for me, and locked me in a dungeon on Nerim. I still do not know why he spared me. Wow. Okay. So the Lightborn really are dead. If you, the Order of the Gods, acknowledge that fact, why do people not know about it? Good question. Because at the moment, stability is the highest good. Even more so, considering what we are facing. The rulers of Kira and Kile both made the mistake to acknowledge the death of the gods to their people, and the civil wars that followed in their countries are evidence of the chaos that such a revelation entails. Enderal is the cradle of the order of the gods, the epitome of theocracy. It is unthinkable what would happen if we confirmed these rumors. I am sure you understand this. Maybe when all this is over that will change, but for now it is imperative that we deny all rumors of that kind. Okay. I guess that's reasonable. So if Nera Nereth Zul or whatever was your son, why did he hate the gods so much? Shouldn't he have been devoted to them? There were circumstances favoring the development. But it's a long story, which we won't discuss now. Alright. So, you managed to free yourself. Yes. After more than 30 years. When the death of the gods made the magic around the prison disappear. And during my escape in the northern mountains of Nerim, I also had them for the first time. The dreams. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Lellers. I always saw the same glaring, terrible light. Heard screaming. And I felt like I was burning up from the inside. And above all, like a veil, there was the knowledge of imminence. At first, of course, I dismissed these dreams as the delusion of a man. Yeah, I started streaming on both uh I concentrated on making it through the mountain. On both uh, a week Two or so ago. I escape, I was completely exhausted, and I would have died if a former acolyte of my son had not found me. An acolyte of your son? Weren't they enemies? Yes, but he did not recognize me, and brought me to their headquarters instead, an old monastery in the mountains. The others were aware of my identity, but for whatever reason they did not kill me. Maybe because they thought that the death of the Lightborn had made me insignificant. I do not know. Still, even after my recovery, the dreams continued. At first, I doubted my sanity, but after some time, I told the leader of the Majors, Constantine, about them. And he said something that I'd never expected. I was not alone. He, as well as many others magically gifted on Vin, dreamed the same dreams. And the more we talked about the matter, the stronger our suspicion grew, which has now turned out to be the truth. Interesting. All right. The dreams. They come from the same place. They are a shared memory. A shared memory? You mean the dreams originate from a common mind? A collective subconscious. Yes. I know that you can feel it too, and probably far more intense than we do. 
But like you back then, we were not able to make sense of the images. So we went looking for answers in the remains of the civilization that was before us, the Pyrians. Hmm. And thus the excavations. So what have you found? First, there were many civilizations before us and before Pyrians. Maybe hundreds, maybe thousands. Second, the history of each civilization unfolded and still unfolds according to a pattern. They emerge. They fell through. And at some point, they Oh dear. Oops. Simply disappear without any trace. And third, everything that has happened in the past years and which is still happening indicates that this disappearance lies ahead of us. We are part of an eternal loop. A cycle, and our cycle is approaching its end. Hmm, more. Give me more. A pattern. You mean that the chronicles of each civilization are identical? Not identical. But one can split them up into episodes which repeat themselves in the very same manner. Into patterns. Interesting. Okay. So is this your explanation for the Red Madness and the wars? Yes. Dramatically put, they're the envoys of the end. Wow. Okay. Yeah, to answer your questions, guys, um, there's a website called restream.io. And from there... So I'm actually streaming to there. And then they stream out to YouTube and Twitch and you can stream to like 30 different sites at the same time. It's pretty cool. Obviously YouTube and Twitch are the biggest uh, followed by Hitbox and Beam is a pretty big one. Beam is sort of like the, got the latest technology. It's better than everybody else's pretty much. There's almost no delay at all between the stream and what you see. Like on Twitch, there's anywhere from a 20 to 60 second delay. On YouTube, it's a little less. On Hitbox, it's about the same, about you know, 10, 15 seconds, something like that. On Beam, it's only, it's usually one second. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Restream is still free. It's supported by donations. I don't know if it gets big enough. It'll probably they'll probably. I think they might have some, same like premium services of some sort. I haven't really looked into it too much. Okay, so hundreds of prophets predicted have predicted the end of the world, but it never happened. I see why you would say that, and I felt the same way for a very long time too. But there came a moment when we simply could not deny it anymore. We began to study the history of the Pyrians more intensely, and the parallels were extraordinary. In its early days, the Pyrian Empire was split up by a disaster, just like Vin was split up by the Starfall after the reign of the Eterna. Also, the Pyrians had a ruling caste who declared themselves gods after the catastrophe. The two castes of the Sun Priest. They, too, ruled until they were overthrown. This overthrowing was followed by an outbreak of wars and chaos. And then, just like that, the Pyrenees ceased to exist. They knew it was imminent, but they could not prevent it. They called this event the Cleansing. So Pyrenees knew about the threat. Why didn't they try to do something about it? They tried, but they failed. Who knows why? Maybe they found out too late, or maybe they were too weak. Alright, so how can an entire civilization just disappear? That is the question we need to find an answer to. The end was not violent, at least not in a sense as we know it. There was no natural disaster, no magical explosion, no plague. Even though there was war in the Pyrean Empire before its ruin, when the cleansing happened, it was as if all living beings simply fell down and died. It is ghastly. Hmm. 
So where do I come in? Well, this is the reason why we need your help. Not only episodes of history recur within every cycle, characters do as well. Characters? Yes. The Pyrians call them the Emissaries. They emerge very shortly before the cleansing occurs, like a law of nature, an answer to the Red Madness. And I am one of them, as are you. While I take on the role of the ruler, you take on the role of the prophet. I'm supposed to be a prophet? It's just a description. Call it what you will. But without doubt, it is the truth. Your story matches the descriptions perfectly. Wow, okay, so I take it that uh, this is the reason the Niramese Nir mages aren't here. Are here. Firespark, Pegast, Sharim. Yes. Former enemies or not, both sides have understood the magnitude of the threat. The magical knowledge of Narazul's former mages is vast, as is the power of the Holy Order. Even though not all of the Keepers agree, as you probably have already noted yourself. Hmm. I should probably upgrade my internet. I cannot stream at 2 megabits. Up. I max... I I mean, my, my internet is technically 2 megabits, but um, it usually... I start losing all kinds of frames, anything above uh, about 1.5. Why me? I do not know. Firespark the Mage has told me your story. And even though your fate is tragic, unlike me, you were insignificant before your change. So maybe everyone can become an emissary, or we simply have not understood the pattern yet. Okay, so if I play a role, does that mean that something is controlling me or us? No. As I already said, the emissaries simply appear at the beginning of the end, like pieces on a chessboard. We are determined by our skills. How and to what end we use them is our choice. Alright, so what defines this prophet? On the one hand, your power. You carry the potential to master any skill within a fraction of the usual time needed. I assume you have already realized this. On the other hand, your ability to look into the past, and therefore, into the future. Into the past, and therefore, into the future? Oh, of course, because things are just repeating. Makes sense. Your visions are a window into the past. And as every cycle is based on the same events, it is a window into the future as well. You can feel the thread this world is woven with. And because of that, you can see things that have happened, and thus will happen again. This gift makes you indispensable to us, and it is why I want your help. Okay, and what if n this doesn't interest me? Hollow words. Deep inside, you know your responsibility. Trust me, we are more alike than you believe. Okay. Why do you think that we can overcome the cycle in the first place after hundreds of civilizations have failed? That is the wrong question. The correct question is, what alternative do we have? To wait and die? Okay. Yeah, not really a decision I can make based on a gut feeling. Give me some time. Very well. I await your answer. Okay. Well, that seems like an excellent spot to stop for tonight. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Nice chatting about streaming and all that. And, um, hope you enjoyed this little taste of Endril that we played tonight. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you in a future stream.